from January to December, strange favor. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here who is in any financial calamity in the name of Jesus, between now and the end of February, you have the faith to believe this. The helper that will arise for you, may God provoke them to arise for you. In the name of Jesus, any aspect of your life that has refused to move forward, you have tried and tried and it has refused to move forward. By prophecy, I push you, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is dead or dying in your life could be your finances, could be your spiritual life. By the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, let that situation and that aspect of your life jack back to life now. Yes. Hear me? If there is anyone here, I'm hearing addictions, suffering from any kind of addiction. An addiction is anything that has control over you that you do not have control over it and leads you out of the ways of God, out of the will of God. I break every addiction now. Shout a loud amen. I break every addiction now. All those trusting God for jobs, by February miracle service, in a place you did not expect, if you have the faith to receive, I decree and declare, may my God give you strange jobs. I understand that many people, especially around this city, have had a lot of constraints, especially in the area of their finances, from rent to transportation to whatever. I have a duty under God to help your spiritual life but not at the expense of other aspects of your life. Therefore, I decree and declare, may help and mercy. Some of you, someone will give you a place to stay and you will not pay one naira for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone in business here, in the name of Jesus, provided is a legitimate business and glorifies God and adds value to people. May my God support your growth. May my God support your rising. Can I pray for your spiritual life? It's too early to be struggling with your prayer life. We're well, just in January. It's too early to be struggling with fasting. It's too early to be struggling with waking up in the night to pray. It's too early to be struggling with your word life. Whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already, I declare it must give way now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire for the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of God I caught you from them permanently in the name of Jesus now hear this and listen very carefully nobody will kidnap you Receive this one. Oh, nobody will kidnap you, nor your family members, nor your loved ones. Anywhere there will be trouble, may your feet not go there. I say it again if there will be danger and trouble, may the angel of the Lord take you away from that place. You will not enter a vehicle that will have accident. You will not enter a plane that will crash. But if you enter, it will never crash. You are in business and the difficulty is connecting to those who need what you carry. By prophecy, this moment, I connect you in the name of Jesus. You are in this place and you are trusting God for a job. It looks like doors have not been opened for you. 
you've not even started because the way to begin to schedule a reward system is not there i'm praying for you may this year not end without you receiving your letter i'm praying for anyone here who is in debt you borrowed money you are in trouble your family is in trouble i pray for you right now in the name of jesus between now and december 31st come out of that financial situation i pray for someone you made careless financial decisions you lost your money maybe you put it somewhere it disappeared someone ran away with your money or some stories i'm praying for you in the name of jesus may god the restorer restore you 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 for those who are not tithing those who are not giving that spiritual root is not there the giving grace i release it upon you right now i call your destiny helpers i don't know where they are but in the name of jesus you will not have to look for them by yourself god will bring them to you i say it again you will not have to look for them by yourself my god will bring them to you may this be true for ministries may this be true for churches may this be true for families may this be true for individuals some wealthy person who is looking for someone to bless may god put your name in their heart and i want to pray for those who are already established god is helping you you have businesses you have investments you have structures here and there that meet needs i'm praying for you you will not fail in business i'm praying for you you will not lose your job god will only take you higher and higher in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus acts chapter 12 we're praying from verse 1 my god i sense such an anointing in this place Acts chapter 12. Watch this. It says, Now about that time, the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Next verse. He said, And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. These were the days of unliving bread. Verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, watch what he did to Peter. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that by Easter he can bring him forth to the people. Peter can be your favor. Peter can be your next level. Peter can be your influence. Trapped and kept. But, verse 5, read with me if you're a Christian. It says, therefore, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison go ahead and read but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him are you ready to pray a prayer of release everything that has been tied down i decree and declare be released right now go ahead and pray I declare jubilee, jubilee, jubilee over my destiny, jubilee over ministry, a season of the release in the name of Jesus. Outside pray. Rateka tu shati gata balakosia, e breke te skoto bash kati balantoskia, krope kato skoto berente katiya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
there is a grace i'm trusting god for that will come on someone's life let me show you that grace we're still on that scripture acts chapter 12. the bible says verse 6 please listen carefully that when herod would have brought him forth the same night as he was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh -huh. he says behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and he smote peter by the side and raised him up saying arise quickly and the chains fell off from his hand follow carefully and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind thy sandals so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me in response to prayer verse 9 may God open your eyes and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel he thought he was in a vision verse 10 it says they passed three kinds of gates let me teach you a mystery there was the first gate that they passed he was out of prison but he was not yet free they passed a second gate he was far from oppression but he was not yet enjoying liberty the bible says they came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that leads to the city your city is your place of influence that there is a gate that the moment that gate is open the city must hear your voice listen to me i want to pray for you and i want you to pray first this gate you see has kept many people that there is an iron gate that opens when that gate opens your voice must be heard there are businessmen there are sincere preachers anointed and great but the iron gate still stops their visibility are you ready to pray he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you're going to open your mouth that by the blood of the lamb the gates that must open for your visibility in 2022 command it to be open hither and thither go ahead and pray the iron gate shabakatakatosia in ministry in business the gates of destiny that must be opened so that those that were sent to your grace will know that you are there territorial iron gates financial iron gates ministerial iron gates a father be open a father be open a father be open hallelujah hallelujah let me give us one last scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica and he shared with them a very deep mystery please read with me if you can see it projected ready one to read wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again wherefore your favor would have reached you since last year wherefore it kept trying what you are looking for has also been looking for you but satan hindered us the helper of your destiny long instructed by god to come and hold your hand in ministry but satan please don't think you are wasting your time tonight satan he says i paul once and again i tried when you prayed it's not that god did not answer the man who would partner with the spirit to come to you satan hindered us the financial helpers that would have been sent by god to make the work easy for you it looks like god just left you destitute but satan are you about to declare now that in the name of jesus 
everything that stands as a hindrance to the helpers of your destiny and the virtues and the graces that must set you free to excel in 2022 in the name of jesus satan the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray the hindrance is gone the lord rebuke you satan 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 hallelujah let me speak over your life our time is gone Even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, come and take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my Lord. Even so, even so. Come, Yeshua, come. Hallelujah. Listen to me. God put it in the heart of your man of God. And it will take God opening his heart for you to see. Every true shepherd desires the rising and the excelling of those committed to him. At the level that God has honored and lifted your man of God, most of his needs is not for himself again. Any genuine shepherd, there are pastors here, your greatest joy is not your personal excellence. It's to see that those who God has committed to you rise and become all that was in the mind of God for them. Hallelujah. I want to lend my voice and my faith with the angel over this house. And speak over your life. Please. I want you to give your best. Do not miss tomorrow's session. You can connect by faith. And I want you to make sure. That even after this conference. Look for these videos. And listen to them again. If you must buy it, buy it. Whatever you have to do, get it and sit down. You will be surprised that you have not gotten a major part of what was shared this night. There is the hearing that brings awareness, but there is the hearing that brings understanding. We have been commanded to bless. And I want to bless you. To bless you means to empower you to excel. Amen. 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 Every coldness and lukewarmness in your prayer life there are people here it was not like this with god something just happened perhaps the vicissitudes in life brought you down to a point where your prayer life has gone down in the name of jesus i stand in partnership with pastor kingsley and we declare over you fresh fire upon your prayer altar help them please fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ
hear me the unction for discernment i'm seeing the number 12 let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace in the name of jesus i decree and i declare take that grace for discernment supernatural discernment in the name of jesus hear me darkness from a distance looks like light it takes discernment to know what is light let me speak over every closed door by the power that raised christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and i speak every door that has been closed over your life in the name of jesus i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and i speak over that door a father be open now 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 By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the seasons. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your feet. Everyone ordained to lift your hands in this season. Helpers of destiny. I don't know where they are, but I prophesy to the north. I speak to the south. I speak to the east and the west. Wherever the helpers of your destiny are, between now and the month of March, I command them to appear in your life. I command that they show up in your life. Let me speak over your finances don't say it does not matter it does it does there is a prophetic dimension to wealth by this time tomorrow he said what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you Hey, not like you Into the darkness you shine Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you Not like you David's Christian Center, your God is mighty. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher, Lord, you are higher than any. Our God is healer, awesome power. Please listen, I'm wrapping up. Well, welcome to Refresh Daily. Just in case this is the first time or this is not final, we tell you welcome because this is where God is going to transform your life for the better. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we do enjoy you to subscribe to our channel, turn on your notification bell, and share this video to your loved ones and family. Welcome to the great family of God and we really celebrate and love you.